Germs present on patient skin and immediate environment. Hands are the most common vehicle to transmit healthcare associated pathogens. Germs transfer onto the healthcare worker's hands. Germs survive on the hands for several minutes. Suboptimal or omitted hand cleansing results in hands remaining contaminated. Contaminated hands transmit germs via direct contact with the patient or the patient's immediate environment. You must perform hand hygiene to protect the patient against harmful germs carried on your hands or those present on his or her own skin. Hand rubbing with alcohol-based hand rub is a preferred method of hand hygiene if hands are not visibly soiled. Hand washing with soap and water is essential when hands are visibly soiled or dirty or following the exposure to any bodily fluid. The patient zone contains the patient X and his or her immediate surroundings. The healthcare zone contains all surfaces outside the patient zone of patient X, i.e. all other patients and their patient zones and the healthcare facility environment. During healthcare delivery, there are five moments when it is essential that you perform hand hygiene. The role of moment one is to protect the patient against acquiring harmful germs from the hands of the healthcare worker. It must be performed directly before contact on entering the patient's zone. Examples include when you are going to touch a patient in any way, such as shaking hands, assisting a patient to move, before any personal care activities, such as bathing, dressing, brushing hair, putting on personal aids such as glasses, before any non-invasive observations being performed like taking a pulse, taking a blood pressure, oxygen saturation, taking a temperature, chest auscultation, abdominal palpitation or applying ECG electrodes before a non-invasive treatment such as applying an oxygen mask, feeding a patient. Moment two. The role of moment two is to protect the patient from harmful germs from entering their body during a procedure. Examples include the insertion of a needle into a patient's skin or into an invasive medical device such as venipuncture, blood glucose level, arterial blood gas, subcutaneous or intramuscular injections, or an intravenous flush. Preparation and administration of any medications given via an invasive medical device, such as intravenous medication, nasogastric feeds, PEG feeds. Administration of medications when there is direct contact with mucous membranes, for example, eye drops or suppository insertions. Insertion or disruption to the circuit of an invasive medical device, such as tracheostomy, nasopharyngeal airway, wound drains, urinary catheter or suctioning of airway. Any assessment, treatment and patient care where contact is made with non-intact skin or mucous membrane, such as wound dressing, or a digital assessment of a newborn baby's palate. The role of moment three is to protect yourself and the healthcare surroundings. After touching a patient, the healthcare worker has the patient's microorganisms on their hands. These microorganisms can be passed on to whatever the healthcare worker is in contact with next. Moment three should be performed after any moment two procedure. Other examples would be contact with a used urinary bottle or bedpan, contact with sputum directly or indirectly via a cup or tissue, contact with a used specimen or pathology sample container, cleaning dentures or after touching the outside of a wound drain. Any bodily fluid exposure for example, blood, saliva, breast milk, feces, ascites fluid, or organic body samples, such as bone marrow, meconium, or bile. 
The role of Moment 4 is to protect yourself and the healthcare surroundings. After touching a patient, the healthcare worker has the patient's microorganisms on their hands. These microorganisms can be passed on to whatever the healthcare worker is in contact with next. Moment 4 is performed when leaving the patient zone after touching a patient and any subsequent contact with patient environment. The role of Moment 5 is to protect yourself and the healthcare surroundings from harmful patient germs. After touching the patient's environment, the healthcare worker has patient's microorganisms on their hands. Moment 5 refers to direct contact with the environment only. Examples include bed rails, linen, bedside charts, patient table, call bell, TV or bed remote control, monkey bar, personal belongings and patient chair. Moment 5 is often the most forgotten moment for hand hygiene to be performed as it refers to environmental contact only and this is not perceived as a contamination risk. Around 37,000 people die in Europe each year as a result of a healthcare associated infection. Hand hygiene could decrease this by 15 to 30%.